Hello there everybody, Dan Calloway here again, and I'm coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I uh, just want to do a shout out to all my subscribers. I uh, really appreciate your support for my Linux Unix Tech Channel and all the support you give me. I appreciate all the good comments you give me, letting me know what you want to see, and also um, letting me uh, be aware of, of things that you'd like to see on the on the site. Uh, and things maybe I'm doing wrong, so you know that's uh, that's all well and good. Uh, they give me that feedback, and um, but you know I'd like appreciate it if you would go ahead and like my videos if you like those, uh, and uh, just uh, increases my subscribership, helps me out. Okay, so let's get started today. Uh, I want to talk about package management in Arch Linux, and uh, so let me get a terminal going here. And let me bring it up to full screen. Let's clear that screen here and let's uh, bump it up so we can see what we're doing. And in package management in Arch, it's handled using a package management uh, package called Pacman. Called Pacman for package management. Very simple, very easy to remember. Uh, you may be familiar if you're an Ubuntu or Debian Linux uh, user, uh, uh, apt you know, apt-get, or just apt in the case of uh, package management. Apt stands for aptitude, so if you wanted to get a package, it would be apt-get. Uh, so you do an apt-get install. Of course, you'd need sudo in front of it. Uh, if you're doing an update, apt-get uh, apt update would go out and get packages and then update the system, etc., etc. Now, if you're a CentOS or a Red Hat Linux or... Fedora user, then you're probably familiar with YUM. Um, YUM stands for Yellow Dog Update Manager. And so that's the package management that CentOS, Red Hat, and Fedora uses. But as an Arch user, and for all the other Arch users out there, we use Pac-Man. All right. So if you want to update your system, let's say the first thing you want to do is, is go out and um, one of the first things you should do when you have a fresh install of, of uh, Arch Linux is update the system. And so to do that you would use a couple of switches. So we'd use Pacman cat, uh, dash or tac capital S YY or YU that actually upgrades this or updates the system rather. Um, and what does that mean? Okay so the first S here the capital S means synchronize. So Pac-Man with the TAC capital S would synchronize all the remote repositories before it does anything else that follows it. The Y here refreshes all of the uh, um, files, the repository files, uh, whether they're, they appear to be updated or not. And then the U would do the actual updating. And so Pac-Man TAC SYU would be the command that you would run and that should be the first command that you run after a fresh install of Arch. Alright, so let's get back to the fundamental commands here. Um, if you want to search for a package in the system then you would do a pacman tac uh, space tac capital S little s and then let's say GIMP is what you want. Um, and that would go out and search. The first S, again, synchronizes all the repos, remote repos, which you need to do, uh, even when you're searching for something. And then the second little S is the search functionality in the command, which then goes out and searches for GIMP. Okay. Now, I know that this is going to generate a lot of output, so I'm going to do a more, pipe it out to more. And so I'll put in the password for Data Pioneer. And we're going to see here that in the extra repo of Arch Linux, okay, there's an extra community, a multi-lib, and a core. Um, the package you're going to get is GIMP 2.10.8-1, okay. So 2 TAC 10 TAC 8 uh, dash one and that's installed already so I don't need to install it so I'm not going to install it so let me go ahead and quit this and uh, let me rerun that command except I'm going to take away that and show you that if you wanted to install this package after you search for it 
then you would remove that second S, which is to say don't search for the package, but now let's install the package. And so what the S, capital S does is it synchronizes the repos, and then after it synchronizes the repos, then it goes out and installs the package that follows, all right? But moreover, it installs also the dependencies that that package needs in the system. And so that's, that's vital as well. Uh, not only are you installing the package that you want, but it also goes out and installs all of the dependencies. Now, uh, some other things that you can do here. Initially, I had SYU you know, for updating the system. You can do an additional Y in there, and that just uh, goes out and not only synchronizes or updates, rather, or refreshes the files in the repos, but also refreshes the local files in the cache. Uh, when it does its synchronization and update. And so what's the uh, double Y there uh, is a, like a double whammy for refreshing remotely and uh, locally as well, okay? All right, so let me go out to a sheet that I have here. I've got some, a few more commands I wanted to show you. We talked about the SYY, the SYYU, the capital S here that follows. There's one called uh, Pac-Man space TAC capital S. And then you've got a flag that you can uh, add, which is uh, tac tac no confirm. What that does is it uh, goes ahead and installs a package that follows that command. Uh, but in the process of doing that, if there's any confirmation that needs to be done about, you know, no prompting for, for instance, for do you want to go ahead and install this anyway, uh, or no prompting for additional dependencies or anything like that. You just put in this no confirm flag, and it just zips through the process without uh, prompting you for any uh, human input, okay? Which is, can be useful from time to time, so it's very good to do. All right, so in addition to um, installing packages, um, let's go ahead, let me bring up a terminal again, because I believe I closed the terminal. And um, let's clear the screen. And let's pop it up so we can see what we're doing. You can run Pac-Man, and you can, instead of installing a package, you can remove a package, okay? And so if you do a Pac-Man TAC capital R and then GIMP, all right, that's going to actually go out and remove the GIMP package, which is already installed. Now, there are a couple of other um, flags, that, or switches, rather, that you can use. Uh, one is an N and one is an S here. Um, and that's for a full removal of that package. Let me go ahead and go back out again. If I go to man page of Pac-Man, let's take a look at that. Uh, so capital R is to remove the package, okay, right here. So that removes all the packages. Um, if we do a, let's take a look at what the N, the little N stands for. So let me go down the page. Still looking for it. Okay. Little N. Um, all right, what that does is that restricts or filters the output to packages that are found in the sync databases. All right. And then the little S. What that does is it uh, does a regex or uh, regular expression search locally install packages for names and descriptions when it's doing its removal process. All right, so that's what the N and the S uh, accomplish there. And then another one here for dependencies: if you want to not only remove the package that you're asking it to remove, like uh, GIMP. But you want to remove any dependencies also that GIMP uh, has, uh, then you can use the TAC capital R C N um, switches. And what that does is that removes the dependencies associated with GIMP, but now it does not remove dependencies that other packages depend on uh, to operate properly. So you don't have to worry about it removing a dependency that another package for perhaps uses and so that package will then fail that won't happen if you use the tac capital r little c little n okay and then the final command i want to show you here is this one here so instead of 
Um, if you use a capital S, little s, that searches the, uh, the remote repositories for a particular program or package like GIMP. What you can do is you can do a, a capital Q, all right, uh, and then the package. And what the capital Q does is that searches the local repositories to see if you have that package in the local repositories uh, instead of um, going out to the remote repositories for that. Now, where that comes in handy is if you, um, you've you already you know built your own repository on your system and you want to use the repositories you've already downloaded and installed on the system instead. And then um, if you go out here to this last command that I have, it's pretty, uh, you know, extensive. Q little l. And what that does is that lists out all of the um, uh, dependencies as it uh, searches for um, a particular uh, package, uh, you know, in the system uh, to do uh, an installation from a local repository. All right. So uh, this has been a uh, look at Pac-Man, which is a package management uh, tool in Arch Linux. And that's how we install packages in Arch. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, go ahead and comment in the uh, comment below the video. And uh, like my video if you would as well. Let your friends and neighbors know about my website at the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And have a nice day.